Now to the Biden presidency. Debates over whether the U.S. is in a recession is going to heat up after the government announced a second straight quarter of economic contraction. Yeah, that's right. And CBS 4's Deborah Alfaron has the latest from the White House. Government figures show the U.S. economy continues to slide. The Bureau of Economic Analysis says the gross domestic product fell 0.9 percent during the second quarter from April through June. This marks the second straight quarter the economy has contracted, falling 1.6 percent at the start of the year. We know that many families are worried about the state of the economy and the cost of living. Two straight quarters of negative GDP would typically signal a recession, but the White House insists that's not the case, pointing to the strong job market. A recession being labeled as such is almost irrelevant. Either you've got a job or you don't, and you can afford these high prices or you can't. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell warned that some people could end up losing their jobs in the future as the Fed fights back against rising inflation. This process is likely to involve a period of below trend economic growth and some softening in labor market conditions. The Fed announced Wednesday it's raising interest rates by three quarters of a percentage point in order to try to bring down inflation. Higher prices, ones that we have not seen in decades, are going to be with us probably at least for six, maybe nine months. It will mm. feel better, but it's not going to feel good. Higher rates will make it more expensive to pay down credit card debt and raise the cost of an auto loan, adjustable rate mortgages, and small business loans. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, the White House. And today's GDP report is based on incomplete data and is considered an initial estimate. The number can be revised up to down later when the Bureau releases a second estimate on August 25th.